Hello and welcome to a special edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to attempt to finish this puzzle by Florian Wartman correctly after my absolute ricket yesterday, when somehow I got to the end of the video and missed the fact that I had not solved the puzzle correctly. Um, as I've just explained in the video I, I've recorded for this evening, which I suppose it's possible this video will go out before that video. No, we'll probably put this video out tomorrow morning, in which case I can reveal that uh, yesterday evening's video was Black Rose by Totally Normal Cat. But uh, I pointed out in that video that what I did was I was looking at greens. And green you can see is a 7 or an 8 from the middle box. So in fact actually maybe a sensible thing to do would be to write 7s and 8s into all of those cells. Um, and many of you got cross with me as well for not noticing I'd already written 9 in here and therefore all my blues could be 9s. So let's do that. But the mistake I made was thinking about where green was going to go in box eight. And I concluded it couldn't go here because I sort of just, I don't know, I just saw this arrow as a three cell arrow, which it quite clearly isn't, it's absolutely inept. Um, but green, green can't go here uh, or in those cells. So I think green has three possible positions. Now we know because I got the incorrect solution, I assume green was in one of these two. Uh, that the green will end up here but obviously there is no way to actually prove that at this point so what I'm going to have to do is basically resolve the puzzle from here now Florian left a comment on last night's video basically it was very kind and it said that the remainder of the solve proceeds you know much as I did it which is quite surprising and the problem is that when I solved this it was back in February so I have no clue what I did uh, from that point so basically I'm just going to try and resolve it I think that's the best thing to do um, and go from there. <laughs> this might not be the best thing to do, but let me just stare at this for a moment or two. I've got a four cell arrow here. So these cells are a minimum of six, but they can't add up to more than seven or this will break. Right, so those squares are either one, two, three or one, two, four. Um, I hope I got that yesterday. Um, what should we do now? Let's think about... I've got lots of digits in column one. Three, four, five, and six to place. Do I know anything about this arrow? This arrow can't have lots of big digits on it, can it? Because it's only it's a three cell arrow, only adding up to seven or eight. So the maximum size of the digit in this on this arrow is five. Um, ah, <laughs> okie dokie then. Okay, so maybe I should have done more due diligence to try and work out exactly, or at least to follow my solution path from yesterday's video a little bit. Let me think about this for a moment or two. I don't know about green down here. I know green is in one of those two. I've got to put one and two on this arrow. Which sort of feels like it might be important. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay, so how do we get, how do I make more progress here? Is this, is this totally obvious to everybody? Or was it totally obvious to me yesterday? That's really amusing because it's not totally obvious to me now at all. I wonder if it's something to do with these nine arrows having to be, you know, that obviously each of these limbs has to sum to nine. There are three ways of making a nine arrow sum to nine. 2, 3, 4, 1, 3, 5, and 1, 2, 6. I'm wondering if there's some knight's move related reason why these have to all be different. But I'm not seeing that, I have to say. Not at first blush, anyway. Um, goodness. Okay. So what is it, then? What on earth is it? Uh, this is not an easy puzzle, Florian. I'm not surprised I had trouble with this. I'm slightly surprised that I had this trouble with it. But... Uh, 
Okay. Um, is it something to do with... I've got to put a lowish digit on here. And though that lowest digit, dig, lowish digit cannot go in this domino. So there's a lowish digit in one of those two. If the lowest dig, lowish digit is here. That's putting more pressure on this seven, eight arrow. But not interminable pressure, I don't think. Okay, it must be something to do with some sort of colouring, mustn't it? There must be more colouring to be done. So what is that colouring? Maybe it's this not oh okay okay, I can do some maths on this this diagonal. I hadn't spotted this. Right, so those digits, well those add up to twenty-four. Those digits add up to nine. So that's 33. So these digits add up to 12. But these digits are capped out, aren't they? The maximum size these digits could be is 7. Because if I made this, these add up to 8, this would make them 9, and that is not a 9. So if the maximum size of these is 7, that square has got to be at least a 5. So that's a 5 or a 6. It can't be a 7, 8 or a 9. Right, so that's huge is what we're learning. Yeah, okay, right. So now I see what's something that's going on in column one. This the low the low digit on this arrow that's not one or two. So there's a three or a four on this arrow. And it can't go there, so it goes there. So that's a three or a four. Now ah, yeah, lovely. Right, now knights move. So this digit here can't go in those two squares. Yet it does go on this arrow. That's what we've just said. So those two squares are not three or four. They are a one, two pair. This is a three or a four at the top. Those two digits are, you guessed it, the same. Okay. Um, that might matter. Let's think about that. Then we can go... So yes, so now that digit can only go exactly there in box one. So those two digits are the same. Don't like that colour. I'm going to go grey for those two. Um, ah, no, I can't do knight's move on grey. We could... What else could we do here then? ones and twos colouring we could the problem with that is I don't see a way of connecting those two to these two or to this ah no I'm wrong okay right so those that is not the same as that because if these were the same, you couldn't put that digit in box four. So these are different, which which is good. So let's make this one. Uh, we'll make this. Maybe I'll make these ones red. I don't really want. I think I'm going to have to get into funny colours because um, I need more colours. That's why. So we know that's not red. So that's yellow. So that's red by the power of deduction. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Where does yellow now go in this box? It can't go here because of knight's move, so it goes here. So presumably all of this is broadly the same as what I... That's, that's red by the power of Sudoku. Uh, this must all be the same as what I did yesterday. Although obviously for me it was many months ago. So now in this column... Do I know anything about that? I don't think I, I think I could heavily pencil mark these cells, but I'm not sure I know very much about them. Ah, I've got a one and a two pair on this arrow. So what's that cell? So these add up to three. So this is either a four or a five. Um, could that be the same? It could still be purple, couldn't it? If, if purple was four and this was four, there's nothing prevent no knights moves presenting them. Ah, but ah, okay. But where does three go on this diagonal now? 
3 is on the 9 arrow. Right, so if 3 is on the 9 arrow, 6 is not on the 9 arrow. And 6 on the diagonal goes there. Aha, so that's 6, that's 6. That's 6 by Sudoku. Should have spotted that before. So these squares are now 3, 4 and 5 to complete this box. 5 is definitely on the left hand side. Let's record that. Red is not on the nine arrow. Is that somehow important? Oh, what color is that? Oh, that's not yellow. Because yellow sees that, so that's red as well. So this is double, oh, okay, so it's double red. Oh, <laughs> right, so that doesn't tell us the nature of this, this arrow yet. We just know it's double red plus, plus the other. So if red was one, these would add up to four. And that could still be three or four. And if red was two, four, that would be five. And that could still be three. Ah, okay, that's annoying. Um, so can we go further with the coloring here, maybe? Or do I now know what the nature of this three, three cell thing is? It's going to have yellow on it, isn't it? it? hasn't got, I need to put yellow into one of those two cells because I've not put yellow on the diagonal. So it's only got one low digit along. So it's either two, three, four or one, three, five. Okay, I don't know quite what that means. Um, okay, what about those digits then? They are, they're from three, four and five as well. So presumably these are from three, four and five. Okay, so that's all interesting and that, but it's not really doing what we need it to do. So instead we will argue about <laughs> something. Um, where does Right, we must have to do more colouring. Let's let's put reds into those two cells. Let's put red is not so red is in one of three places. Uh, oh, I've got something. Right, I've got something. Where does uh, if you look at where red goes in box two, it's in one of these three cells. Now red can't repeat on the diagonal, so red's in one of those two cells, which means red. We can ask where it goes in column eight. It's now got to go on an arrow in box nine. Which is, well, maybe that's not very surprising. Um, okay, so maybe you can do the same. I've, have I? No. Ah. So red's still got a whole rash of possibilities in box eight. I'm not even sure I'm prepared to pencil mark that. What about yellow then? Can we do better with yellows? Yellow, no, I don't think we can really. No, yellow's not on this arrow, is that somehow important? Yellow is in one of three places in box five. Um, uh, okay, see. So yeah, that is interesting, actually. That is interesting. So yellow can't... Oh, I see. Right, okay. So yellow, neither yellow nor red go on this arrow. That's got to be important, hasn't it? And there, so the reason yellow doesn't go on the arrow, if you put yellow there, you then can't put yellow anywhere in this box because of the knight's move constraint. Yellow can't go here by Sudoku. So... This, these two cells are neither red, which sees both of these cells, or yellow. So they're either three, six, or four, five. That's not six, that's not three. Um, which is probably important. 
he says. <laughs> Trying to work out why. Um, oh yeah, okay, right. Now so now where does where does that digit go in row three? That's lovely. That's absolutely lovely. Good grief. It doesn't go in those four cells, so it goes there. So that's six. That's three. That's not three. That doesn't see that. That only sees that by Tigger Bounce, not by Knight's Move. Um, so, he says, this means what? I've got, so six is a grey digit. So six, ah, oh yeah, lovely. Six can't go on this arrow because we know there's a three on this arrow. So six goes exactly there. So maybe the puzzle is about sixes. Oh, well, nearly. Well, I'm wondering where six goes in, in box six. It can go on the arrow. If this arrow is a one, two, six arrow. Six in box nine again. There's, a, there's only three positions for six, and two of them are on the arrows, which would force again one, two, six arrows. I have a feeling there's some way we'll be able to rule that out. I might come back to that. Three, I can just place though in box five by Sudoku and Knight's move. It's got to go here. So these three, so that's not three. So three's in one of those cells. Oh, that's gorgeous. Good grief. Okay, I can place three in row seven. Three, and that's because I've got a three domino here and a three domino here. So three's wiped out of all these cells. So it's got to appear in this domino and Knight's move tells me it's there. So that's a three. Now, presumably, I can... Well, what can I do with that? I can... Can I get three in this box? Three is in one of two places in box six. Could be on the arrow. Um, <laughs> um, 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 um. Can I wipe? Ah, ah. Sixes? Can I put six? Six on this arrow that would make this a one or a two probably I can't put six oh I can't put six here anymore so actually let me just think about this that's not six so six is in one of those three cells in box eight I mean I, we obviously know because of the mistake I made yesterday this is this turns out not to be a six but I'm not allowed to assume that Oh, six, no, hang on, six in the middle box is, is, is horizontal. So that might matter. So where is six in box number six? And the answer is in the same cells that red is in. So these are from one, two and six. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm, I, I'm really interested to know if I found this during the solve of however I did it um, before. Because look, because this is a because one of these cells is red and one of them is six by Sudoku. How could the six be here? If the six is on the arrow, this has got to be a one-two pair, which requires red to be on the arrow, which it couldn't be. So that cannot be six, and that must be a one or a two. Therefore, which means that that means that's red, um, which means that oh, it doesn't tell us where red goes in box nine, but it does tell us this is now not red. This is in fact whatever we had for six, which is grey. So that's grey. Oh, this is massive. That's absolutely massive. So six is on this arrow. It's there, in fact which means that we now know those two squares are one, two pair to add up to nine, and that must be the red one. So that's red, that must be yellow, looking at my coloring. Uh, that's not yellow now, so this is yellow. yellow. Yellow can be placed in box two because of Knight's move restrictions. So that's yellow. Um, right, and that means these two cells are a one, two, six. 
uh, they are a yellow gray pair is what we know about them one of them is a six one of them is yellow so yellow oh yellow can be placed in box six it's got to go there Oh, which I could have got before. Okay, but never mind. That's still great because that means that three is forced onto the arrow. It means this cell's got to be the counterpart to one, two, plus three to add up to nine. So that's four or five. This is four or five. Can we continue with our yellow? Oh, yellow. Yellow's looking at that. So that's grey. Um, and therefore it's six. And this is not six and is not grey. It is yellow. So yellow, I've got four yellows looking at this box and it's got to go there. Yellow is on the, the nine arrow. So this cell's a four or five, which gives me a four or five pair in this column. And that places three, oh, which I could have done by Sudoku before, sorry. So this, so these are four or five pair. Okay, I'm getting, a, I'm getting excited here. I should calm down and try and actually solve the puzzle for the first time. Um, what about, yes, if that's red, that is not red, is it? So that must be where red goes in box two. Now that seems to indicate that this cell acquires the mantle of greenness, which means that cell's not green, which still hasn't resolved the problem. I need to find, I need to force green onto there. Um, so these cells here are four, five. Might have to color my fours and my fives in a minute. That's the next thing I'm wondering about. Because we do seem to have an awful lot of those things going on. Oh, this is not three, look. Can I, does that mean I'm gonna get three in box, um, box four here? Yes, then I've got a four, five pair there. So that's that's three, that's three. So now do I net get this number? No, because I still, ah, no, I don't. Because it's the lower choice, this can still be two. Ah, bobbins, good grief. Okay, so still seven and eight is possible. But we now know that these squares, I've got, to, I feel like I've got almost deadly patterns of fours and fives emerging here, which is a bit discombobulating. Oh, look. Ooh, yeah, I suppose that could be resolved by this this arrow. What about these cells? What are those? Oh, one of them is green. And one of them is four or five. Oh, where does red go in this column? Ah, red is... Oh, so is this doing it? Oh, six I can place, I've just seen. That six there is knocking six out of those two cells. That places six, I think. Yes, it does, it places six in box eight. So sixes are, I want to say all finished. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, done all the sixes. Um, these are from three, four, and five. That digit is now the counterpart to this to add up to this. Now we know this is going to end up being green, but at the moment I don't think it's forced to be. What's the lowest it could be? If that's a seven and that's a two, it could be a five. Can't be a six, so it's got to be five or higher. So it's got to be five or seven. It can't be eight because that would force this to be nine. So this is five or seven. Is this how we're supposed to? So we know it's going to be seven. So we know this is going to be one. So what's wrong with this being five? Oh, it's lovely. Oh, good, right. Okay, well, that's very clever. That's not five for a lovely reason. If this is five, by knight's move, that has to be four. And now look at these two digits. Yellow and red both have to equal two in order to make their arrows work. We know this needs to get to at least seven. So that's got to be a two. And that's got to add up to nine. So that's got to be a two. Yet we know red and yellow are different. So that does it. That does it. So this is the key. This is, And this, of course, this is all stuff I wouldn't have appreciated from yesterday's solve. So I'm so sorry about this because this is lovely. So that's got to be seven now, which means it is 
it's either green or orange and we know it's not orange because it adds up to orange so that's got to be eight that's got so red is one and therefore yellow is two and all of a sudden it might just fall apart here two three plus four add up to nine don't they so that's a five and that's lovely that's working so that's a four uh, now maybe it's knights oh yes okay and now everything's getting resolved because I've just filled in a whole load of stuff on arrows. Yeah, so that's got to be seven now. Let's check this arrow adds up. It does. That's good. So all of my... Oh, I've got to be a bit careful with greens because I didn't disambiguate them at the bottom. Those are all seven. I think oranges are all done. So they can just be written in as eights. This arrow needs to add up. So that's got to be five. That fixes four and five by knight's move. These two cells are probably resolved, but I can't see how. Those two are resolved. So this arrow figures out the deadly pattern at the top. These two squares have got to be from three and four. There should be a knight's nice move poking into something here to figure this out. That four is looking at that one. The five is looking at that one. Right, so if this is green, that's green, so that's seven. So we can greenify both of these. We can ungreenify these, and that, but we know that's now five by Sudoku. So that fixes this, 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 and hopefully that, and hopefully that, and that, and that probably <laughs> is the correct solution to this puzzle. Um, what an absolute travesty. Uh, let me just check the arrows here. This was the arrow that was broken before, and that's now working. So yeah, so it certainly merited um, another look, didn't it? It's taken me 27 minutes to solve it from that point, the point I made the mistake. So it's it's definitely, a ch it was a challenging thing to, to uh, unwind how and why this cell had to be green. But it was beautiful as well, and that's presumably a lot of that was stuff I didn't find last time. Um, so I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to Florian um, for ruining what is a magnificent puzzle. I am very sorry to all those of you who spotted the error and no doubt got very cross with me. Um, thank you to those of you who uh, were so kind in the comments and didn't give me too much of a hard time. And to those of you I've upset badly, I do apologize. Um, mea culpa. But there you go. That is how to solve Florian's puzzle with logic. See you later on Cracking the Cryptic. <laughs>